Hello, Medofupa. I hope you are doing great. So, today I'm going to show you how I season a leg of lamb. It's so easy using simple ingredients, but you get the maximum flavor. It is so simple, but yet so tasty. So, so fill proof okay even if you haven't got all the ingredients there are some basic ones that when you use you still get flavor but for the extra maximum fill proof recipe i will recommend that you use all the ingredients that i'm going to show you here so it's um seasoned for leg of lamb so of course we've got some spring lamb just perfect for the easter season so this is what I'm going to have for Easter Sunday, okay? So yeah, seasoning it in time, the day before, so that's nice and well seasoned. So the leg of lamb, I need some olive oil. Uh, that's quite optional, but I would say have a bit of oil to help it mix, the, the spices to mix up. But sometimes I don't use it, so it can be optional. Some ginger, I would recommend that you have some fresh ginger. I don't have fresh ginger, so I'm using this ginger paste I bought from the shop. And I'll be using my some of my 10 spice blend. This adds the extra flavor. So yeah, because it's got 10 different spices in here. So yeah, you need it, but it's a little bit, I would say it is optional, but for that extra tasty lamb, you need it. And what you need, what I will say, this is the core of this spice rub. So a bit of lemon, the lemon zest, and a bit of its um, juice, some garlic, some rosemary, and some sage. These are the core, and of course some salt. So these are the core of um, the spice rub for the lamp. So if you don't have, let's say, the 10 spice blend, you can add in a bit of fennel, a bit of um, black pepper. If you've got white pepper, that would be great as well. And if you've got um, any, any kind of other roasting herbs, will also do, like if, you, if you've got thyme. But uh, using rosemary and sage is really, really good. So I'll recommend you using it. So it is really, really simple. So basically what I'm going to do is to zest this lemon. I'll do that. What I'm going to do is also to finely chop the these spices. So the, the rosemary, so there's the rosemary. So finely chop these rosemary and sage and garlic together. I mean it doesn't matter if you've got a bit of the stems in here. This is a wrap, all right? So some of the stems are a bit soft, so you don't really need to bother. So these herbs I got straight from my garden. So what I usually do is when I get it from the garden, and I'll say when you buy it from the shops, do the same. Give it a rinse in, um, in either salt water. I normally use vinegar water, so a bit of vinegar. But if you haven't got vinegar, use um, salt. That will also equally do. Although I'm going to chop the garlic, I am just going to grate it to make it just a little bit easier for me so that it's nice and fine. rub that's just about that it's so easy yes the flavor is mm, mm, mm. it is bursting with flavor and juicy I want every single bit of garlic 
You see, it doesn't, I wouldn't say use this much of garlic, use this, this much of um, spice here. You just watch the size of gauge. You see, the beauty about cooking is being able to gauge how much you need. And it doesn't change unless you use very, very little. If you use little, then your food is not going to be flavorful. But I don't think if you overuse the spice, the beauty of using natural herbs and spices is, is um, it doesn't get it doesn't get bad when you use too much of it. I do, but yeah. <laughs> so just using your knife, a sharp knife, go through it and finally chop it. And this this um, spice really works when really works well when you season it for a long time. So in that case, you don't even need too much of it. Just a bit goes a long way. Just a bit goes a long way. Let's say if you've got about a week to have it to season. As soon as you buy it, season it. It's so easy to put it together. So this is it. I'm not even getting it any smoother than this. And then I'm going to add in the zest of my um, lemon. So one whole lemon. You want the rind in there. got any questions feel free to comment and send it I will always um, respond to you and I'll use just a bit half a squeeze of lemon juice from half of the lemon and so I'll add in my salt so it's you see this big meat needs quite a bit of salt so i've used about like two spoons about two teaspoons full of salt and i'm going to add in um about let's say two teaspoons of the ten after village kitchen's ten spice blend and some ginger Heaped probably two because I love ginger. So, two teaspoons full of ginger. So, I'll squeeze this. I once I put it in my, I don't want the juice to run all over the place. So, I'll add it in when I transfer it into my roasting pan. It is smelling amazing. I wish you could smell it. The smell of this is good. When you have a spice rub that smells good on its own, you know that when you use it on whatever you're going to season it with, it will taste good. This will this spice rub will work well with chicken and with fish. So if you want to grill some fish. By all means, you've got some rosemary, some sage. Give it a try. The worst thing is you may not like it. And then you know that for next time that you don't like it. Okay, so what I'm going to do with my 
leg of lamb is to create some incisions in them, in, in the skin, so that it's nice and easy for some of the spices to penetrate into the skin. So it's well seasoned, and particularly as I'm giving it just an overnight um, time for it to season, I really need it to be able to go in really, really well. Okay, so straight into my roasting pan. And I'm just going to use my knife, okay? I'm using my knife to just create like a bit of cuts, okay, all over the skin. So this is going to marinate or season in the fridge overnight. You never leave it out since, um, I mean, it's now warm. If it was in the cold weather, you know it's going to be cold. You can, spices actually preserve food, but I won't risk it when the weather is this warm. So you need to put it in the fridge. So just, you know, random incisions. And that's that's good and now it's time I've got my lemon juice to add and I've got my oil to add yeah, let's give it a wipe and have my working surface a bit tidy Okay, so lemon juice, I'm going to squeeze. Don't worry if you get the seeds in, look. It's not going to go anywhere but remain at the bottom of your, your pan after it has, it has um, roasted. So this is like about a tablespoon, okay. You know lamb, all this, has fat in it so I try not to add too much oil because as it roasts that is going to you know melt and add extra fat so it's going to basically roast in its own fat so I don't even bother to sometimes add oil but to help your spice wrap to stick to the leg of the lamb do add the oil you know sometimes when you add the oil it does help so as you can see that's my spice rub that's quite a lot and then we'll be able to season this whole leg of lamb beautifully so as i'm doing this i'm going to push i'm just trying to rub it first and then oh this is smelling so good it smells so good and then i'm going to uh, push some of the spices into these incisions I made so that you know what everywhere you know when you sometimes when you roast a, a, you, you roast a chicken well chicken is even easy a big beef joint or leg of lamb like this and by the time you're in the middle there's no flavor because everything was just on the surface so you need to do this I do this with beef as well and I've got a, a beef joint. I do create the incisions in there and put the spices. When you put your finger in, I hope you can see, you create that a bigger hole. So just push them in. So when it is grilling or roasting, you know, it's just seeping through, all the spices are seeping through nicely. The hole is not big enough. Just get your knife and give it 
much deeper slits. Yeah, there you go. And this is it. This is all there is to this seasoning mix. So what I'll do is, well, in the morning, I'll take it out of the fridge, let it come to room temperature, very, very important um, for it to come to room temperature before you start roasting so that it, it, it cooks thoroughly and evenly. Otherwise, you have some of the middle bit, maybe the outer bit will be burning and then the inner bit is not even cooked. So do let it come to room temperature before roasting. So first thing you do, when you wake up, come into the kitchen, you get it out of your, out of your fridge. Give it an hour or so. Now that it's nice and warm, it will come to room temperature very, very quickly. And yeah, fire up your, the oven to about to 180 degrees. You do a slow roast. So 180 degrees and yeah, roast it for about two hours, three hours. It may take for depending on the weight of your lamb. So this is it. All done. It's smelling so good. I love I love this combination of rosemary, sage and lemon. It works really, really well. So that's my leg of lamb ready for the fridge. Thank you very much. So what I'll do is I'll cover it with cling film and yeah, so that it doesn't, you know, contaminate anything else in my fridge or it becomes contaminated by something else. So yes, so it's nice and well contained. So this is it for my um, perfect spice wrap for a leg of lamb. I hope you really enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, any questions you have, do you send it, okay? So I'm going to serve this with um, potatoes, roast, roast potatoes and some roast vegetables. I bought some parsnips and carrots and... Um, Onions, yes, and so I'll, I'll, what I'm going to do is to season these vegetables with a bit of rosemary and sage as well, just like I did. You saw me do now a bit of garlic, really makes it really, really nice. So that will, a bit of that will season my potatoes and my vegetables. And we will, you know, celebrate Easter Sunday with spring lamp. <laughs> I hope, um, you find you have found this useful so do get in touch if you have any questions and thank you very very much for joining me bye bye